Hosting or promo codes and discount codes are available right here at Revuzi. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to claim yours. I'm also going to show you what the hosting or product looks like so you know exactly what you're in for if and when you do decide to sign up for it. Now, first things first, to claim that discount code, literally all you need to do is click the link in the video description below. It's that simple. I've got a discount for you where the lowest price is $2.59 a month for a hosting package with hosting or a pretty good deal, right? So that's it. Honestly, I could end the video here. If all you're looking for is a coupon code, click the link in the description below. I definitely appreciate you doing that um, as I, I as I do get a commission uh, and you get the lowest price uh, out there on the market. So if you just came for the discount code, you know what to do, click the link and you're gonna be good to go. Now, if you wanna see what hosting looks like before you buy, I'm gonna show that to you right now. The reason is well, it's obvious, right? You don't want to buy a product completely blind. Maybe you've seen some of the marketing from Hostinger, but you're not sure if you can really trust them or not. Maybe you've even seen some other affiliates here on YouTube who are really hyping up these Hostinger promo codes saying that, you know, Hostinger is the best web host out there. You got to buy it. And of course, you have to buy through their link, right? Because they get a commission if you do that. But they're not actually showing you what the product looks like and are not actually users of the Hostinger product. So I'm hoping to change that and actually give you a walkthrough of uh, what the back end looks like. This is not going to be comprehensive. I am going to do a hosting a review um, later on in the month that is comprehensive, that does cover everything about the service, what I like, what I think could be improved. For now, what I want to do is just show you guys how does a hosting or account look and take you through a few of the main main features. So here you can see I'm logged into my hosting or account. Yes, I'm an actual user. And um, earlier tonight, I'm going to see if uh, my chat window is still open. Yep. So uh, about three hours ago, I just sent a uh, request. What I wanted to do was see how quickly they um they responded, and uh, they responded in less than two minutes, right? So I, I thought I might be sitting here waiting for a little bit, but nope, live chat was super um, responsive, and my previous experience with them is that they're very uh, capable, competent, and able to solve problems quickly. So definitely a plus one for their um, live chat support which I think in the, probably the case of 95% of you watching this, that's what you want, right? You, you, who wants to get on a call uh, with a hosting company? That's kind of a, a boomer thing, which if you're a boomer, awesome. They also have a phone number you can call, but I find live chat is usually easier for uh, for most people. Now, if you go through the site, um, so they got a WordPress dashboard so you can um, basically administrate your WordPress website um, directly from Hostinger. You'll see it's a pretty clean interface, modern design. It doesn't look dated like a lot of these other hosts do. Um, maybe you've had the experience like me where you log on to a hosting account and it's obviously straight out in 1999. You know, they haven't really updated everything. Um, graphically, it's just sort of ugly. I don't find that to be the case with Hostinger. It's a pretty nice looking um, Back end interface and it's really easy to navigate. So here's what you'd see um, with the WordPress uh, portion of it. If you wanted to, you know, install popular plugins like Optin Monster or you know manage your existing plugins, you can do that um, directly from Hosting. So that's quite nice. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, so you know, order info here. So your your billing history, that sort of thing. Um, this is not particularly useful. If you're doing an email, you're probably doing it through Google Apps. I think. I hope um, I don't really see the purpose of doing an of um, email app admin through uh, um, through one of these web hosts. I find Google Apps is just the best, the easiest to use. But um, you do have that as an option with Hostinger. Um, here you can manage domains. Personally, I use um, Name Silo for most of my domains. Uh, they're just cheaper there. But Hostinger is obviously a domain registrar as well, so you could register a domain here. Uh, should you want to, and then website. So they've got an auto installer feature, which actually, what is this auto install? Let's take a look here. Um, okay. Yeah. So if I wanted to like install a constant, or sorry, a, um, a content management system for the site that I'm hosting here, I would be able to do that, um, through this, this portion of the website. I'm going to blur this out just so you guys don't see my actual website. Um, because it's kind of a crappy one that is vaguely embarrassing to me. Um, what else? File manager. So you could administer your files directly with your FTP and then SQL. If you wanted to um, get geeky and edit SQL databases, you'd be able to do so. Then you can set up cron jobs, which are automated 
you know, jobs that run every 24 hours or whatever the time frame is that you specify. Um, cash manager, I guess this will let you clear your cash. SSL uh, is probably feature enabled by default with um, with Hostinger. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot obviously that you see here, but what I find when I'm getting web host is basically what's the price? What do most customer reviews say about them? And, um, you know, how easy is it to administer a website or websites through the back end of that web host? In the case of hosting, or it's dead simple. They're, they're a newer web company or new web, a newer web hosting company, I should say. Um, they're not as established as some of the incumbents in the space, like a host gator or like a blue host. In my mind, that's actually a good thing because what that means is they're forced to innovate a little bit more. Um, they're still working on, on capturing that market share. And I find that uh, yeah, they're, they're a pretty responsive and I think adaptive company that, um, reacts to, 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 to the wants and needs of their users. So overall, really a good option. If you want that coupon code and you're ready to buy, just click the link in the description below, and then you're going to see this. And then all you do is click start now. And I'll, I'll just walk through that quickly. So, um, so, you, so that you can see the differences here. So single shared hosting, premium shared hosting, business shared hosting. One commonality you're always going to see with the web host is they throw a bunch of shit at you, right? Um, I shouldn't say shit because some of it's really valuable, but there, there's a bunch of um, features. And uh, I think for newbies, it can be kind of intimidating. Like, you know, what's the difference between this and this, for example? Um do I, what's a Google ads credit? Do I need that? Do I need that to rank in Google? I mean, there could be all sorts of um, questions that, that that come up. And I'm here to tell you that I think for most people, really all you need to decide on is, are you gonna have one website or multiple websites? If you're dead set on just having one website, go with the single shared hosting, that's the cheapest solution. Um, and it can support up to a, you know 10,000 business monthly. So this is okay. This is, it's a really good option. In fact, for a small business owner who has one website, they're not gonna have more and they're not um, anticipating a high volume of traffic. Uh, usually I like to go for this middle tier um, because oftentimes, not in this case, the biggest discount is for the, uh, the beginner package, but uh, often the um, biggest discount is applied in the middle tier. More importantly, you get multiple websites which um, really that's like the number one thing I want is a storage allocated. Is there a reasonable amount of storage allocated? A hundred gigabytes of solid, solid state um, drive storage. Yes, that's totally reasonable. And then multiple websites. Yes. Um, so I would do that. And I made the mistake in the past when I was first getting started with this. I, uh, I, I remember it's a, at one point in my life, I had two dream host shared hosting accounts that I was paying um, that I was paying a monthly subscription to. And then at some point it dawned on me that, oh, wow, actually each of these is a multiple, um, is, is a payment or is a plan that can support multiple websites. I could just move it to one, um, to one single account. So if you're gonna have multiple websites and you're anticipating a decent amount of monthly traffic, then go with the middle one. And then here for power users, uh, you know, uh, this supports 100K visits a month up to 100 websites. So no difference there. Um, this is good if you're in a higher traffic scenario uh, other, um, websites that I would recommend or other hosting solutions that I would recommend if you're um, really starting to get into the six figure, six figures of traffic a month would be uh, WPX hosting. They're really good, um, for these higher traffic. They're really good as a higher traffic solution. But, uh, for most people, this one in the middle is exactly what you're going to need or going to want. Um, they include free SSO, which pretty much any web host should at this point, um, email, which, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think you're um, going to use, just use Google Apps. Um, you do get the domain included in registration, which is awesome. Uh, Google Ads credit might be useful for some of you, but uh, um, yeah, that's only useful if you're running uh, pay traffic through Google AdWords. And there are other ways to get those vouchers too. You could probably get it directly at Google. Um, AdWords. So I find this is kind of a, it, it looks good as an upsell, but it's probably not useful to most people. I know I shouldn't be saying that as an affiliate, as a marketer, right? I should just be hyping this up, telling you, get this, get this, get this. Um, but I'm trying to give you a um, an, an honest, mostly objective um, assessment here. So unlimited bandwidth, that's important that they don't cap your bandwidth. Uh, you know, if you've ever visited the homepage of Reddit and you see a site that's down, 
um, because of the so-called hug of death. That's because the, the site has just crashed the servers or else exceeded its, um, its uh, bandwidth allocation from its host. WordPress, you want, um, and it's very easy to install WordPress on Hostinger with a click, with a single click. Um, and then WordPress acceleration. Yeah, so it's a caching system. I guess that's useful. Then you do get the money back guarantee. If you're not happy, um, you'll get a refund, excluding the domain registration fee. And yeah, if you're technical, you can access, uh, let's see, actually SSH, protect your communication with the remote server. Yeah, so I guess that's like a hashing solution that encrypts um, encrypts something. But again, <laughs> so I'm a power user. I have a bunch of web, um, web hosts, I Hostgator, Bluehost. Hostinger, uh, SiteGround, I've used pretty much all of them and I'm actually not even sure what SSH access is. So you can see how some of these features aren't um, gonna be super relevant to most people. So all in all, Hostinger is a really good option for anybody looking to get started or manage um, existing websites. And I highly recommend it. If you do buy through that um, discount link below, you should get the discount applied. And I will also receive a small affiliate commission, which I really appreciate because it allows me to go out, actually buy these hosts if I don't have access to one, test them and do short reviews like I'm doing for you guys here. So you can actually see what does the product look like? What does the backend look like? Um, and get an honest review from me. So that's it. Let me know what questions you have in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.